Welcome back friends, Steve here, KM9G, and this is my DX Commander One Year in the Wild update. Stick around. Oh, and uh, all this all this stuff right here, blocking my face, that I don't need to talk about. We'll just keep it between us. So before I came out here to do the update, I did a real quick um, inspection myself and realized that in the last year I didn't have one part of the ground radials hooked up. So that wasn't very good. And if you guys are looking for ground radials down here in this area, good luck. Because they hide pretty well. They kind of, nature takes over like it always does. So one of the things that I had to do was tighten up one of these guy wires guy wires um, it's not wire it's just cord and uh, that was it well attach the missing radials and tighten up the guy wire not the ground wire for the coax it's RG213 and there's a big coil of it right there underneath all the brush in case I want to attach it to something else or do another project or try another antenna out or whatever the case may be. And then it heads back over in this direction and I bury it underground just enough so that I can cut the grass really easy and not have to worry about cutting my coax. And that's it. It stands in this grove of trees which keeps it pretty well sheltered out of the wind, out of the elements for the most part. Um, but it makes it so I can't put the 80 meter inverted L up very easily. But the reason why I put it there is because all the ground radials stick inside the footprint of this tree group and do not uh, get in the way because I don't need to cut the grass in here. I haven't cut the grass in here all year and this is what it looks like. Welcome to the forest. You can see some snow peeking out in the background. We missed fall this year, it just went straight to snow. I've got a couple of these little trees right up close to the house, some type of evergreen, I don't know what they are. They were here when I bought the house, I didn't put them in. And then I have the coax comes above ground and shoots through the wall right there. All I did was drill a hole from the inside out and put some caulk in it and made sure that the wire ran downwards so that any water that was on it would run down and fall off. Real, real easy, real simple stuff. All right, extreme close-up time. This is the other side of that wall. Um, realistically, what you kind of have to do is take a look at your wall and see where your outlets are. There's another outlet over there. There's those priority mailboxes for storing stuff. I have in another video. And you just kind of have to gamble. Uh, it's going to be hard to, to see a, a wire going from that outlet to no other outlet over there. So I think I'm pretty clear that there's not an outlet behind the wall. And there's a window right here. Okay, so what I did was come in from the outside with that coax that I showed you earlier. Through the hole that I drilled through the wall from in here. And then I put a uh, hole in a blank face place face plate cover and put a couple of coax ends and connected it to a barrel connector a chassis mount barrel connector so it looks all nice and pretty like that and then that's how I get my coax into the house I tried doing one of those window pass throughs before let me show you something okay so I tried doing one of those window pass throughs before where you, do, you have the little panel and the coax comes through but if you look up here, you've got this thing called a meeting rail. And with the window pass through, it doesn't join and it doesn't seal. And we get some pretty cold temperatures out here in the Midwest. And so I didn't like that. So I still, I'll run an antenna through there during the summer or for testing or something like that. But the, uh, the window pass through thing wasn't for me. 
Okay, so here we are with that antenna tuned into the 20 meter band. One of my favorite bands. Let's see what the SWR graph looks like. Note that the tuner is off. It's not too bad with the tuner off. Just put the tuner back on. Let's run it again. So the tuner's more than capable of taking care of it. And all I did when I put this antenna together was cut it to the lengths that Callum said to cut it to in his directions. Let me get out of the uh, JSA call area. Cut it to the lengths that uh, Callum said to cut it to in his directions and put it up. Didn't really worry about it all that much. This is 40 meters. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Turn the tuner back off. Just a little bit towards the end of the band, and obviously if we turn the tuner back on, that's just going to be fine. Just fine. There we go. Quick retune. Nice and clean. There you have it. DX Commander antenna, all band vertical. Been up for over a year now, not a single problem with it. Check out the description down below for links to where I put this antenna up on two meters and 70 centimeters, and check out the SWR readings uh, that are also in the description down below for what this thing does with a nano VNA. Thanks for being awesome.